As the clock ticked away the minutes, I couldn't help but feel a rush of excitement coursing through my veins. Tonight was special. Tonight, I would be heading out with Emma, my dearest friend and confidant, for a long anticipated night on the town. Emma and I had been inseparable since our college days, sharing every triumph and tribulation, every laugh and tear. She was the kind of friend who understood me in ways that no one else could, and our adventures together were the stuff of legends. But tonight held the promise of something different, something I had kept locked away within me for years. I glanced at the clock once more. There was still an hour to go before Emma was due to arrive. The anticipation of our night out buzzed in the air, igniting my excitement. But there was something else, too, a secret yearning that had gnawed at the edges of my consciousness for as long as I could remember. You see... I had a hidden desire, a longing to cross-dress and explore a side of myself that I had always kept concealed. The idea of slipping into women's clothing, of transforming into someone entirely different, had held a powerful allure over me since my teenage years. And tonight, that yearning would no longer remain hidden. I began my transformation by reaching for the wig that had been carefully placed on my dresser. The wig was a beautiful chestnut brown, its silky strands cascading like a waterfall. As I placed it atop my head, securing it in place, I could feel the metamorphosis beginning. The reflection that stared back at me in the mirror was no longer Theo. It was a woman with an air of mystery and allure. With the wig now in place, I carefully selected the outfit that had been hidden away in the depths of my closet, one that I had secretly acquired over the years. The fabric felt delicate against my fingertips as I held the dress up to the light, savoring the softness of the material. It was a beautiful garment, one that had captured my imagination many times before, but had always remained an elusive dream. Tonight, however, it would become a reality. With meticulous care, I began to dress, slipping into the dress with a sense of exhilaration. The fabric caressed my skin as I fastened the zipper, and I couldn't help but smile as I twirled in front of the mirror, the skirt of the dress swirling around me. Next came the makeup, an art I had secretly practiced for years. I expertly applied foundation, concealer, and eyeshadow, skillfully accentuating my features. My reflection began to change, morphing into that of a woman with each brush stroke and stroke of eyeliner. The final touch was a pair of heels that added both height and grace to my newfound identity. I took a deep breath and looked at myself in the mirror. The woman who stared back at me was someone I had always longed to meet. I stood before the mirror, admiring the woman I had become, my heart filled with a sense of fulfillment and longing. The heels elevated me, both physically and emotionally, making me feel more graceful and confident than ever before. Every step I took resonated with newfound authenticity, as if I had finally unlocked a part of myself that had been hidden away for too long. As I marveled at my reflection, reveling in the transformation, my phone chimed with a message. The soft notification sound was almost drowned out by my racing heart. With a sense of anticipation, I picked up the phone, not yet comprehending the implications of that incoming message. It was from Emma, my dear friend and companion for the night. Her words flashed across the screen. Hey. I'll be there a bit earlier than expected. Hope that's okay. My eyes widened as I read her message. Panic and excitement coursed through me in equal measure. I had become so engrossed in my cross-dressing endeavor that I hadn't even realized the passage of time. Emma was going to be early, much earlier than I had anticipated. Frantically, I checked the clock on my phone. It confirmed my worst fear. Emma was set to arrive in mere minutes, and I was still in the midst of my transformation. My heart raced, my thoughts a chaotic whirlwind. I couldn't possibly greet her like this, not in my carefully crafted female persona. But I also couldn't simply change back into my regular attire in such a rush. The seconds ticked away, and I found myself torn between the woman I had become and the familiar identity I had always portrayed to the world. In my haste, I fumbled with my phone, my trembling fingers typing a response. That's great, Emma. See you soon. I hoped my hurried reply didn't betray the frantic situation I was in. The realization hit me like a tidal wave. 
I was on the verge of a crossroads, and my secret yearning was about to be exposed in the most unexpected way. Emma, my understanding and open-minded friend, was going to witness a side of me I had never dared to reveal. The minutes passed in a blur of nervous anticipation. My heart pounded like a drum, echoing in my ears as I contemplated the impending revelation to my dear friend Emma. With every tick of the clock, the weight of my secret yearning seemed to grow heavier. Suddenly, I heard the sound of footsteps approaching the door, followed by a soft knock. Panic coursed through me as I realized that Emma had arrived earlier than expected. I was still caught in the midst of my transformation, and there was no way I could change back into my regular attire in time. With trembling hands, I rushed to the door, my heart racing. I paused for a moment, my hand inches away from the doorknob, overcome with anxiety about what lay on the other side. Taking a deep breath, I turned the handle and swung the door open. Emma stood there, her eyes widening as she took in the sight before her. I stood before her, transformed into a woman, the dress and heels a stark contrast to the persona she had known for so long. The silence hung heavy between us, broken only by the subtle hum of the evening outside. My cheeks flushed with embarrassment, and I felt exposed, vulnerable, as if all my deepest desires and insecurities were laid bare before her. Emma's gaze softened, and her eyes met mine with a reassuring smile. She reached out to gently touch my arm, her voice warm and understanding. Theo, she said softly, it's okay. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Her words were like a lifeline, offering me a sense of comfort and acceptance that I hadn't dared to hope for. I blinked back tears of relief, grateful for her unwavering support. Emma stepped inside, closing the door behind her, and we faced each other in my transformed state. It was an encounter that I had never imagined, but Emma's presence brought with it a profound sense of reassurance. Emma's eyes held a mixture of surprise and admiration as she glanced around the room, taking in the effort I had put into my transformation. Her voice was filled with genuine awe as she spoke. Wow, Theo, you did all of this by yourself? It's very impressive. I was taken aback by her response. In my wildest dreams, I had never expected her to react this way. I had braced myself for judgment, for awkwardness, but instead, I found understanding and admiration in her eyes. I nodded slowly, my voice quivering with a mix of relief and uncertainty. Yes, Emma, I admitted, my heart pounding. I've been doing this in secret for a while now. The words hung in the air between us, and I braced myself for her reaction. Would she be shocked, disgusted, or disappointed in me? The fear of rejection gnawed at me as I awaited her response. But to my surprise, Emma's expression remained compassionate and understanding. She took a step closer, her hand resting gently on my arm. Theo, you don't have to hide anything from me. We've been friends for so long, and I accept you for who you are. Her words were like a soothing balm to my soul. A sense of gratitude washed over me, knowing that I had a friend who not only accepted my secret, but also offered unwavering support. As the weight of my hidden desires began to lift, I realized that I didn't have to bear this burden alone anymore. With Emma by my side, I could explore this side of myself openly and honestly, without fear of judgment or rejection. Emma's curiosity got the better of her, and she asked, Theo, have you ever been out while wearing women's clothes? Her question hung in the air, and I hesitated for a moment. Going out dressed as a woman had always been a tantalizing but terrifying thought. I confessed with a nervous smile, no, I've always been too scared to do that. Emma's eyes sparkled with an idea, and she suggested, how about this? Instead of changing back into your regular clothes, why not embrace your female version for a little while longer? Let's go out. I was taken aback by her suggestion. The idea of stepping outside dressed as a woman was both exhilarating and terrifying. But I could see the genuine support and encouragement in Emma's eyes, and it gave me the courage to consider it. She could tell that I was still unsure, that my comfort zone had well-defined boundaries. With a gentle smile, she offered, Theo, we can take small steps. I'll help you touch up your makeup and hair, 
just a little. How about that? And then if you're ready, we can venture outside together. Her proposal hung in the air, and for a moment I hesitated. The fear of judgment and ridicule still loomed large. But then I remembered that Emma had already accepted and supported me, even when she had unexpectedly discovered my secret. With a heartfelt smile, I nodded and said, Okay, Emma, let's do it. Emma's face lit up with delight as she clapped her hands together gently. Great, you won't regret this, Theo. We spent the next little while fixing my makeup and adjusting my hair. Emma was surprisingly skilled at enhancing my features, and I began to see a different person in the mirror, one who was confident and ready to face the world. As she worked, Emma asked, Do you have a name for your female persona? I blinked, surprised by the question. No, I admitted. I never really thought about it. Emma grinned mischievously. Well then, how about we give you one? How about Thea? It's a beautiful name just like you. Thea. The name felt like a warm embrace, a new identity that was both exciting and comforting. I smiled and said, Thea it is. With my makeup touched up and my hair styled to perfection, we were ready. Hand in hand, Emma and Thea, we walked out the front door. I could feel my heart racing with excitement and a touch of nervousness. But above all, there was a profound sense of gratitude for having such an understanding and supportive friend by my side. Thea was smiling, ready for whatever adventures awaited us. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.